Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone in this video I just wanted to talk to you guys just chat I know you some of you guys have been subscribed to me for like a super long time back when I was doing drug videos and I've been thinking about making those kind of, kind of videos again and some of you subscribed to me new after I made my uh, Israel will lose video I got a lot of subs and then I got uh, shadow band but uh, one of the reasons I stopped making uh, videos for like the past three weeks, uh, well, two main reasons. One, as uh, family stuff, we're moving to another state, inshallah, I got a new job. So uh, please make the out for me for that. It's going to be my first time. I've lived in other countries before other than America, but I have not lived, I should say I've lived in one other country other than America, but I have not lived in another state other than the state that I grew up in, which is Virginia. So uh, make the out for me guys for that transition. The other, the other reason, man, is that making these news videos was 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 hurting my soul yo like you go on telegram or you go on like forget telegram for a second so you go on twitter right there's a lot of good news a lot of good discussion there it's funny there's a joke half of muslim twitter wants to uh <laughs> wants to restart the khilafah and the other half of muslim twitter wants to get married and this is a pretty accurate statement of what's going on on twitter as as well as like the gender wars the the left wing right wing wars and then the racist memes and all this stuff is going on on twitter you have to learn how to like mute certain keywords so you don't get annoying posts a lot but uh the real problem with twitter actually is it's a mix of everything and it's not good for your soul to like see a funny meme and then laugh which just happened to me yesterday i saw a hilarious meme i was laughing and then i scrolled a little bit down it's like hey guys the bombing that's been happening in palestine has been causing like shaking on nearby border cities in the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. So I was like, man, like th this is why I stopped doing the news videos for a bit. It's just bad. I don't, I hate using the word toxic. It's overused, but it really is toxic for you to like look at funny stuff or like look at normal stuff and discussions and then see death, right? And then normal discussion or something funny and then death, right? It's just, just not good for you. So needed to take a break from all of that and uh, Telegram. Just today, I kind of re-went through all of the everything that's been posted on Telegram and Twitter. And it seems like really nothing new is going on. For those who want an update, like the only Israeli W we can talk about. I'll just make a really quick update off the top of my head. The only Israeli W we can talk about is the four hostage rescue. Where they took four hostages out. This happened like a couple weeks ago. And I couldn't really determine for sure whether there was American special forces involved or not. It's very possible there were, but American intelligence was involved in that. The Israeli soldiers were dressed as uh, civilians. They were using a civilian truck and they went into the area kind of pretending to be Palestinian refugees. The two homes, there were two homes. One home had like three male hostages in it and another home had like one female hostage in it. And it's unknown whether that was um, hostages held by HMS, Hamas, or whether that was hostages held by another group. Some rumors are saying it's the Palestinian Front for Liberation, uh, PFLP. It's another group. Right, so I, I was unable to determine. I didn't really bother to go into it that much, to be honest. But uh, either way, when they were extracting them out, uh, one of the trucks was shot. So the, the Palestinians started shooting at the trucks as they were leaving. And um, then Israel just called airstrike on like the entire location. Right, And there's kind of a joke going on now that Israel has managed to destroy everything in Gaza except Hamas. So we see the recruitment numbers are growing and so forth. And it just also goes to show that like the whole thing about using civilians is like, here you go, you do it too, you know, uh, you dress as civilians and you act as civilians and so forth. So, I mean, I don't want to get too deep into it, but clearly the Palestinian groups were paying certain uh, regular people. Or we don't know if they're actually regular civilians or not. It could be someone who is part of that organization, right? But he has his own home in his own place and he hides some of the hostages in his home instead of in the tunnels. So I'm assuming that some of the more high priority uh, hostages are still in the tunnels and some of the lower priority hostages or some of the hostages that Hamas doesn't have are held by other uh, groups or other people, right? Because a lot was going on on that day, October 7th, that we don't know about. The other update is uh, Benjamin Netanyahu uh, dissolved his uh, government and did, is, is doing a new coalition now and uh, just still in fighting amongst the different Israeli factions. That's one thing. The Biden-Trump uh, debate. Oh, did anyone even watch that? 
I watched a little bit of it and I was like, man, this is stupid. This is a waste of time. And then the other update, again, two more updates that we can go in. Uh, one update would be uh, that Israel might have to go to war with Lebanon sooner or later. I mean, there's no way they can avoid it. It's just that they can't really declare victory in, in, in Gaza. There's not going to be a ceasefire, all right? For Hamas to give Israel their wishes and give up all the hostages is basically for Hamas to admit that they've lost. It's suicide. And for Israel to give up all of the prisoners, the Palestinian prisoners that they have, and say, okay, we're going to withdraw from Gaza and we're going to end the war, is the same thing as Israel saying that, well, we lost the war. Neither side is going to admit that they lost the war, so they're going to keep fighting. This is going to go on for a while, right? We know in Egypt a lot of uh, economic problems are still ongoing. There's a new prime minister. There's a new like parliament that they have that they've been that they've elected. I don't think it's going to solve anything or make a big difference, to be honest. So that's kind of on the news in the Africa. You have IS and AQ who are fighting each other, but they're also fighting the local governments in the Sahel region, and they're controlling a lot of territory. I mean, this is going on for at least a year, a couple of years now. But it seems that these African governments are getting weaker. They're relying on Russia and China, and Russia and China is not able to manage certain areas. So uh, my, uh, I don't want to get too much into it, guys. But basically, you're, it seems that the African governments, as of now, are in trouble, right? They're not able to handle the militant activity in the region. And, Af and a whole Africa, northern Africa itself, is kind of in, uh, in a weird position right now, right? So don't be surprised if in like a year or two, we get like a resurgence of huge militant activity. You know, I would, I would not be surprised, right? Uh, Jordan still got a lot of uh, rebellions and, 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 and uh, protests and mass protests and happening in Jordan. So that's, that's all like the news stuff. But that's not kind of what I want to talk about. I want to talk about like random, random life stuff, right? How are you guys doing? How is everybody doing? How is your Aids? How is your family? Like leave it in the comments below. Let me know, right? I myself have been having kind of a thinking process when I'm talking about my YouTube channel now because I'm like, yo, man, I want to keep posting but i'm shadow banned like ever since i made my israel will lose video my first video right i got like 50k views in a few days and it's not the first time i've had a viral video i had several viral videos on my channel but my subs always go up really slow but then this time is different every time i make a video i lose subs i barely get hundreds of views and the video it was growing exponentially and then they capped it. So after I hit like 55k views, they just capped it. They stopped it. So I don't want to just stop making videos on the channel. I feel like that'll give them what they want. Like the whole point of a shadow ban is to get the guy to stop making videos, right? So I don't want to give them that satisfaction. But at the same time, I also want to put my time in the most beneficial area of my life, right? So I'm going to leave it to you, OG subscribers, new subscribers. I can make a mix of different videos to like mess with the algorithm. I'm going to have to stop, start using code words. Like I can't say Hamas anymore. I'm going to have to say like HMS. Uh, instead of saying IS, I'm going to have to come up with a new name for it. If I'm going to cover news on that kind of stuff for militant activity in Africa, if we're talking about like Russia or whatever, or I can go on a whole new track, right? Make new videos that are back to my old videos about weed and drugs and why you shouldn't do that. New age spirituality and refutations of new age spirituality. I can make a new channel for that. Or I can just mix it all up into one YouTube channel and have everything here, right? Including the autistic rants. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think, right? Do you, um, especially if you have experience with this kind of stuff. Should I make a new YouTube channel and start fresh? Should I keep this channel and just have a range of different videos? I'm still thinking about it myself. And uh, definitely for the time being, once I move into Texas, guys, I'm probably going to just be posting a little bit less. Until I get settled in and I figure out a system for how to post. I'm really, really, really considering live streams. It's just so much easier because I have a lot of like stuff I want to talk about. Like, even right now, I was going to talk about Africa and I was going to talk about the different groups and who's fighting. and I was going to talk about all that stuff. And then I realized that video is going to get boring. No one's going to watch it. But if it's on a live stream and people are like talking to me with comments and stuff, it'll be more interesting. Like I can be interrupted by a comment. I can have someone ask me a question. We can like talk about it, you know, what's going on in Lebanon, what's going on in Palestine, the different groups, all that kind of interesting stuff. Uh, or even people can ask me random stuff like about um, some of my previous videos like DMT, marijuana, how to quit, why should you should quit if you have family members that need help with that kind of stuff. I mean, there's a whole range of topics we can get into together, guys. So just let me know your thoughts, guys. You know, I want this to be kind of like 
a group thing. I don't want to just take a direction and do what I want, although that's probably what I'm going to do in the end. But I still want to know what your thoughts are. Anyways, that's it for the video. Take care. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum, guys.